long time ago, the United States was a nation of vast opportunity and promise. It was a country I loved and held dear, but that was a long time ago. The reason I'm writing you this letter, son, is so you would understand why your pa went and done the things he did. Depending on how this war swings, we may come home as heroes or as traitors. I've accepted whatever comes, but if nothing else, I wanted you to hear the story from me. When I was a boy, my family had a little farm down the way from Haynesville. It was such a beautiful place. Me and my brother used to go down by Corny Lake with our dog, Rover. One day we was playing catch when my brother accidentally hit Paul Rover with the bat. He was always such a kind and gentle dog. I guess we never could have thought he would snap at my brother like he did. The doctor said the bite shattered the bones of my brother's forearm. His hand ain't never been right since then. When we staggered back home, crying and bleeding, our pa didn't even think twice. He dragged old Rover, lovable Rover, behind the shed and set the record straight with his Winchester. We couldn't believe it. Pa loved Rover and he never left his side. Yet when he saw my brother and Rover walk down that pathway, there was no doubt in his eyes. I asked him later, Paul, why did you shoot Rover? He wasn't no bad dog. It was an accident. What my pa said then stuck with me ever since. When a dog go bad once, he said, there ain't no coming back from that. That dog is now dangerous. He loved old Rover, but he loved his family more. That happened a long time ago. We don't own that farm no more. The banks foreclosed our place during the depression, sent our pa spiraling off the edge. We found him in his study years later, feet dangling. I guess the hit to his pride was too much for my old man. You see, son, just cause we fighting them don't mean they're bad people. I guess a whole lot of us don't even know why we fighting at all. I ain't no hotshot college scholar or a Washington politician, but your pa has seen war. When you was a little boy and we volunteered in Russia, I had a good, close look at what really happens when these syndicalists try and take the wheel. In their twisted vision of doing right, they destroy all we hold dear. The so-called white democratic forces opposing them are quick to become an empty shell for ambitious generals. Kolchak, the supreme leader. MacArthur, the American Caesar. I seen it in Petrograd and I seen it here at home. Chicago and Washington have gone bad and it is up to us to put them down. We place our trust in Senator Long and the American Union Party. The feds are shills for the Wall Street money men. The syndicalists are radicals, rabid dogs frothing at the mouth, ready to tear this nation apart. Huey Long is the only man willing to defend our citizens' rights. The American Union state is not the best option. It is our only option. And we will fight until we are the last ones left. God willing, we will fight to give this country a future. I love America, son, but I love you more. And I will fight for an America where you are a citizen under the Constitution, not a serf to Wall Street. We march north as traitors, but we will come home as kings. Hi, 
blast the ammunition. Follow, like, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. Check out our other videos. Connect to us via your computer machine.